Hello friends, and now let's do a simple question. Find and replace in string. To some string S will perform some replacement operations that replace group of letters with new ones. Not necessarily the same size. Actually, this is the tricky part of this problem. Uh, each replacement operation has three parameters, a starting index i, a source word x, and a tidy word y. The rule is that if x starts at position i in the original string s, then we will replace that occurrence of x with y. If not, we do nothing. For example, if we have s equal to a, b, c, d, and we have some replacement operation i equal to 2, x equal to c, d, y equal to f, 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 then because c, d starts at position 2 in the original string s, we will replace with f, f, f. So, um, how to think about this problem? As you can see, uh, because the size of the source substring not equal to the target substring, so we cannot directly change the string in the original uh, string. And also, as uh, if we change one string, then the index is not valid anymore, because this indicates the position in the original string. So a simple solution that we will use an extra array to match if the uh, source is matched the original string. If it matched, we record their index in these three arrays. What does that mean? Say this is two, and this source is CD does uh, match the CD in the original string. So in our extra array, the 2 will equal to the 1. The 1 indicates the place in these three arrays. And finally, we use this array to generate our final result. So let's solve it. First, we will get the length of this string, and we will use an extra uh, array and the, the name will equal to the match. And we firstly let uh, all the value in this match equal to negative 1. The reason is that uh, by default uh, the value of this array is equal to 0. But the index can be 0, so it's uh, confusing. So we just uh, initialize to negative 1. And then we iterate uh, i equal to 0, i less than the index dot length, i plus plus. We check uh, every uh, source to see if it match in the original string. So if s substring, the start index will be index i, and the end index will be the index i plus the sources i sources i dot length. Okay. If uh, they really, if they matches above, this is a substring, right? And if equals to the sources i, which is, means they are match. So uh, match uh, this index i will equal to the i. Because we want to finally get uh, the target array. And then we will use a string builder to generate our result, string builder. And we will use uh, i equal to 0, i less than n, and then instead we do not uh, write the condition. As the update, how to update this i? There are two cases if the match i not equal to negative 1, which means they are match. So we just uh, append the targets, and uh, the place in this target is equal to the match i because we save them as the value, append these targets, and at the same time we update the i to the sources uh, match i dot length. If not equal to negative one, we just uh, let s b append this uh, original character at this i, and do not forget to update this i. Finally, we just uh, return. Uh, sb2 string
Okay. It works. See you next time. Thank you for watching.